One fillet of flounder coming up, ma petite shot. Ah. When did they raise this thing? Oh. <laughs> when we lower our standard, Tubbo. <laughs> Catch you later, sport. Knuckles has some salmon he's poaching. Oh, you really know how to hurt a guy, Sonia. Think I'll drown my sorrows with some whipping cream. <laughs> oh, humiliating. <laughs> Two quarts of whipping cream for the nutmegs. <laughs> and a half pint of non fat for chubs. <laughs> bon appetit. Ah, hits the spot. <laughs> when did these steps get so high? At least I know Grandma kept the home breakfast burning. What? My compliments to the chefette. The fried eggs and sausage were magnifique. This place isn't big enough for the four of us. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't big enough for ya. At brunch, chubby. Ciao. The hollandaise made the meal. Uh, don't get up. I can find my way out. If you had any mercy, you'd get me out of here. Mercy, my uh. foot. <laughs> These kippers are going cold. Where is that man? Grandpa? Grandpa? Kippers, my seventh favorite fish. Ah! Ouch, ouch, ouch! Who turned out the lights? Heath Clip, I know you're in there. Just calm down, dear. I'll make you some more kippers. Why does he have to eat my kippers? He already cleaned his own bowl of food. Don't get your blood pressure up, Grandpa. Listen to the radio while I cook you a fresh batch. So, uh, stay off that freeway today, and now here's a special message for you pet owners. Are your Manx built like tanks? Is your Persian emerging? In a word, is your cat too fat? Dang tootin'! This is Biff Biceps, owner of Feline Good, the health spa for today's cat. If your tabby's too flabby, then come on down. Why, you'd think he was talking about Heathcliff. Where are you going, dear? He was talking about Heathcliff. Girth, don't fail me now. Oh, no, you don't. Get back here, Largo. I can't believe this is happening to me. Is your feline shaped like a sea lion? Is your angora all over the flora? Is your... Cut the spiel, biceps. I brought you a horrible specimen of cathood. Shape him up and don't spare the sweatband. Each program is scientifically designed to... Fix him up or sell him. Here. Gotcha. <laughs> Take a break, fat cat. It's the last ah. one you'll get. I've got to warm up the rack. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a break. A prison break. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> now this is what I call feline good. Get down, get funky. But cute. Light on his feet for being so heavy. We'll help you work off this extra padding, cutie. <laughs> Don't shove, girls. There's plenty here for everyone. I'll 
just check this out. It would be perfect for... Heathcliff! I'll check him out, out of life! <laughs> Party is over, girls. Time for an ice cream break. Oh, we can't eat ice cream. We're on a diet. Then do some deep knee bends over a tuna sherbet. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Ice cream does sound good right now. I'll cream your ice. Now, where is that tubby cat? Here, kitty, oh. kitty. Ah, there you are, you little butterball. Time for our stretching exercises. Fifteen minutes ought to get rid of those flabby arms. Fifteen minutes of this and my flabby arms are gonna fall right off. <gasps> I'll get you for this, Grandpa. Huh? Thank my lucky starfish. I lived. Now to tighten up those sorry pecs. Eight times your weight ought to do it. No cheating. Took me years of self-indulgence to get my chest this flabby. Come on, one. Oh, I've got to keep my mind on pleasant thoughts or I'll crack up. 80 pounds of tuna. <laughs> when I open my eyes, that ugly face will be gone. Hey there. Yikes, it got worse. Up we go, tiger. Now that you're warmed up, we can really work on those flabby hindquarters. What is this? A gym or a meat market? A brisk pace for 20 miles will be good for your flanks. Just as I thought. Meat market. Ah, the milk of human kindness. Ah, 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 ah. No, no! Lying down on the job? This won't do. You do seem thinner. <sighs> See what you have to look forward to? Lunch? My lunch, not yours. <laughs> Is this an electric chair? This can't be happening to me. This can't, can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> the Cat Cavalry. All right, we got the message. It's from Heathcliff. He wants us to get over to Feline Good on the double. <laughs> P.S. or else. Called, big guy? Hey, Heathcliff, this exercise stuff agrees with you. Yeah, but now it's time for us to give a little instruction. Take no prisoners. Whoa! What? Oh! Put me down! I didn't mean there! Oh, no! Hey, Pip, you're gonna love this. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Come, comrades, the ice cream truck awaits. No! Those muscles, my heathy. There, that should do it. Let's try it again. I hope you're right this time. Ah! Oh! Hey, change it back. 
Change it back! Oh. I thought you fixed it. Maybe if we put someone heavier in that seat, it will work. Mongo, you sit over where Hector is. Yeah, okay, Riff Raff. Stop him before it's too late. He'll crush Hector with his enormous weight. No, Mongo, I didn't want you to sit on Hector. I wanted you to sit over there and for Hector to sit in the driver's seat. Uh oh. Now it should work. Change it back! Am I interrupting something? Uh, we were just fixing the car. Please interrupt. Well, I've just come over to tell you that I've been named Miss Off-Road by the Off-Road Racers Association. I'll be presenting the trophy to the winner of tomorrow's big race. That's great, Cleo. We'll come by and watch you give out the trophy. Well, I have a lot to do before tomorrow, so I'll see you there. Bye, Riff Raff. Bye, Cleo. Imagine that. My Cleo is Miss Off-Road. Yeah? Well, imagine her kissing some other guy. What are you talking about, Hector? When Miss Off-Road presents the trophy, she kisses the winner. Then she dances with him at the big party after the race. Then there's only one solution. I have to win the race, and you three have to help me. Oh, boy. We're gonna race. This race. When I found out that you were gonna kiss the winner. Drivers, take your places at the starting line. Yeah, that's us. That's us. Good luck, boys. If the sun stays bright, my solar-powered van will win this race. I fix this, Billy Bob. Hey. Good work, Clem. Now I'm sure to win this here race. Gentlemen, start your engines. I see y'all on the victory stand, Cleo. Yeah, and you'll see me next to her. <laughs> I think I'll watch your handiwork, Clem, and then race whoever's left. Those 
Those guys are mad. Yikes! Why didn't you ask them? What are you talking about? Look. Okay, okay, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Do y'all have those tacks I told y'all to bring? Yep, right here. Throw the tacks in front of the wheels. I meant their wheels. Oh. No! Uh, Mango, would you mind getting off my head now? Yeah, I'll get back to you on that riffraff. There they are. We're getting on him now. Hey, look, that solar powered van is back. I'm gonna get rid of that guy once and for all. It's getting on this riffraff. I know, I know. Yikes. Whoa! <laughs> well, we'll be leaving now. <laughs> now what are we gonna do, Billy Bob? I... Which way, Mongo? Straight ahead. <laughs> okay, Mongo, which way? Straight ahead. Which way, Mongo? Straight ahead. What? Mongo, are you sure you know how to read a map? Uh-huh. I did just like you told me. I kept us going by using the compass. What compass? This one. Mongo, that's painted on there. No matter how you hold the paper, it points to north on the map. Yeah, I noticed that, too. I know where we are. Yeah, it's all my fault we ran out of gas. That's, That's right. right. Mush, mush. Hurry, we're almost there. <laughs> I'll see y'all at the finish line. I'll be the one kissing your girl. I've got it! Hey, Mongo, there's a box of kitty crackers waiting for you at the finish line. Oh, boy! There, there! What? Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! It's a girl. That means she'll be getting her trophy from Mr. Off-Road. Oh. oh, what's the matter with you guys? You mean this was all for nothing? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Exercise is good for kids and pets. Huh? Time for your exercise. Ouch! Might as well humor the kid. Won't get any rest until I do. Run with your dog. Get some string and play with your cat. It's good for their health, and they'll love you for it. Ouch! Yeah, but don't overdo it. Terrify their neighborhood. Wait.
Secret just won't be undone. Playing pranks on everyone.